Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Lady Studios, where we are creating a grand pier uh, in The Lady Studios. Well, it doesn't really look like The Lady Studios right now, because, uh, well, if you're new to the channel, I am building in a separate park, because the, bar the park is just getting way too big to start building in there. It's like the loading of all these items in the building section or scenery section that is just super slow. So it's way easier for me to uh, make blueprints out of them in a different park. So that's why you don't see anything else right now in the park. But later on, you will see me placing this uh, this ground pier in the Lady Studios, of course. And uh, thank you guys so much for all your feedback in the latest uh, video because I did wrote some stuff down which I really want to reply to uh, as I normally do like I didn't do that in the last episode and, and a few episodes before that it was like such a long time in between them so I couldn't really do that but now since we are getting back to Planet Coaster a little bit more it's easier for me to reply to your comments so please keep on doing them keep on posting them because I just really love to read them and answer them all as I always do uh, so the first one was from Kane and uh, Kane said, uh, overall, I think the free update and paid pack made a nice combo, but I've not been feeling too creative these past few months. And quite frankly, I haven't opened Planko in so long, uh, the, though of jumping back into it is a little intimidating. Like the Studios pack, I'll pick it eventually. I'm just not sure when that will be. And, and I already replied to you in the comment section, but I just want to reply to like everyone um, right now that is listening. Like I had that struggle too. Like honestly, if I didn't had a uh, Planet Coaster series at my channel, I am not really sure if I would be so focused to keep on building at my parks. Like now I have like you guys uh, really hoping to see another episode, which gives me uh, a great boost to start building. But even then, like as you have noticed, there were like quite some times where I just didn't play any Planet Coaster because I just wasn't feeling creative. So it's, it's really a creative game and I really think you shouldn't worry about it that you're having like a creative block and and things happen to like everyone uh, i'm pretty sure and i think youtubers really have that that extra push of having viewers to watch it that they keep on playing but if not like don't think that we don't have those kind of periods that were like oh i don't really know what to do and they're, you're looking at an empty park for like three or four hours and you just can't do anything that just happens and just don't worry about that i'm just hoping that these kind of new packs will give you more inspiration again to to get back to it and i can imagine like uh, what kane is saying like it's kind of intimidating because you have like so many new items especially if you maybe haven't played for like two or maybe three dlcs and there's so much stuff new i would just advise you to place it all down like i do with my review videos so it's, it's obvious that i place everything down to look what i have and that really helps me but like we already started playing in the alpha days so back in the alphas, you only had the vanilla style and the pirates. So it was really easy for us to get to know all these pieces because we were playing with them for like month. Uh, but I think just selecting the different theme and just put them all out at the floor and just look at all the pieces you have. I think that would really help you or, or just start building in a different theme. So first start with pirates, then start with western, then start with adventure and then you get to... Uh, know all these pieces again and you might feel comfortable to start building like a, a whole park for example but that is just my way of uh, of advice but I th I'm pretty sure there are lots of different ways to do so so it's not like I invented it or anything like that but yeah I can feel uh, I can totally relate to you guys that uh, being creative is not like happening all the time and it's just really hard sometimes so don't worry about that that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> um gabriel campbell says uh will you build a jurassic park ride on planet coaster i wish i could do that but that would ask me to create uh dinosaurs 
with the art pieces and honestly <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable enough to think that I am able to create those dinosaurs. Uh, first of all, it's gonna take a hell lot of time to create just one dinosaur. And, and in the end, after so many hours, then I don't really feel that it's gonna work. Like, I mean, if, if it's gonna look good. So, no, I'm afraid I won't be building a Jurassic Park right, even though I really would want to. I think I'm just not able to create awesome looking dinosaurs and it takes just too much time like you can't even imagine like a jurassic world uh, evolution video at this point takes me around one to one and a half hours but a planet coaster video like what i'm doing now it takes me around four to five hours so it's it's quite a difference and if we if we would try to create r dinosaurs in the game it's gonna take me probably probably eight or ten hours per video and pff, that's just a lot of time next to my, my normal job and it's just not really doable at this point i'm so sorry i really wish i could but it's just not not possible <laughs> Uh, Jacob Powell says maybe you can use those moon shape to create a hand of a Lego man greetings from Flanders or oh, greetings back and um, I, I'm not really sure I think you mean like a Lego man uh, that I could start like a Lego area I, I know I, I thought of that at some point for my Toysland area but I didn't really got back to that area yet I really want to uh, I just uh, did a live stream where I just only placed like some air balloons <laughs> and uh, obviously I was just talking with you guys because it's just so much fun to to have you guys around and I really missed like the planet coaster people that was just amazing to see you all back in there so thank you so much first of all for being there and uh, we're gonna get back to the Toysland area uh, after this episode, hopefully, I haven't started building yet. The only thing I did was placing those air balloons. And I even didn't save the park, if I'm right. I'm not really sure if I did during the live stream, but I know eventually I wanted to save the park. And then I pressed load park instead of save park. So I was like, oh well, thank God we didn't do that much at the live stream then, because placing those air balloons is not like the worst thing to do over again. I just really love the air balloon from the vintage pack and also by the way that uh pacode thing that is on top of this pier I, I placed two of them those roofy things they are just really gorgeous i love them and i really love to use them on top as a as a rooftop because they're just gorgeous and i love the small little details it has so i'm really happy to use those too but that's a side note i i just really can't back to can't wait to get back to the uh toys land too i think we can now uh hopefully finish that area because that will be just amazing <laughs> Uh, Playmobil City says, did I miss something about you getting the files back for Delania Wonderland? Last thing I remember is that you lost like everything. I did lose like, like my thumbnails, so my Photoshop stuff and my Adobe, Adobe Premiere stuff. And, um, but I didn't, I, I did lose some recordings I did that I hadn't uh, posted yet on my YouTube channel, but I didn't lose like the park files, if, if that is what you mean. So thank God I didn't use them, but like everything else I did lost, like the intro sections and, uh, my thumbnails and everything from Adobe Premiere. So that was like super annoying and I'm still a little, little bit, um, unhappy with that but yeah i just can't do anything about it there was just no way to get it back and uh it is what it is it has been like a few months ago and uh yeah well <laughs> so don't worry i still have the lady in wonderland if that is what you mean at least um miss kuriyama says can't wait to see how you incorporate it into your wonderland park oh well i just talked about that of course obviously and uh yeah i'm really uh, excited to use all these colorish items and hopefully we can get create some really awesome stuff i'm not really sure like we have those clowns i'm not really sure if i'm gonna use that as a theme maybe i will but I think it's maybe a little bit too specific to use in the Toysland area, but in the other hand, it's a Toysland area, it's a kitty area, more or less, so it could be that I'm gonna use the clowns later on, because we still have that fairy's wheel that isn't really detailed in a theme yet, so that could definitely 
work now i think of it i don't know i'm not really sure what do you think should should we use the clowns or not for toys land i'm really curious what your answer is because i do know that a lot of people are like super afraid for clowns i don't really have that myself i haven't seen that horror movie with a clown so i can't really relate to those people that have seen that movie but when i was a kid and i'm dutch and, and we had like a clown and a acrobat uh, called Bassi and Adrian and they were there since like the 1950s or something at first they were two acrobats and they really worked in a circus and later on they decided to change to a clown and a acrobat and they made like several different um uh, TV shows and that kind of stuff they really worked in a real circus too and like a lot of people at my age uh, just grew up with them so yeah I do love clowns in a way and I can't really relate to the people that don't like them of course the freaky clowns that look freaky I don't like either of course I'm a human being I don't like that but yeah I just don't really have that thing like ooh, ooh, I hate clowns and in general no I don't have that like Bassi and Adrian that were like my my favorite duo and I grew up with them so yeah I really love them at least so everyone who is Dutch can probably relate to that if you're like around my age <laughs> it's really funny um so yeah i have no idea what do you guys think shall we use the clowns team in the toysland area let me know in the comment section and um hendrik christopherson says i still don't understand how you have the energy to upload so many videos on your channel i don't get it but i love it well thank you i'm really glad you like it 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 has been a really struggle. I'm, I'm really trying to uh, get back to my normal schedule. Like with Jurassic World Evolution, I really try to upload uh, and, and record daily, which I didn't normally do uh, like a few months ago when I uploaded daily. Uh, and I, I found it really hard because then you don't have like a day to just relax. And I also have my normal job. So it, it was really quite a struggle to um, get every day, everything up in time. But I really just try to respond in real time to everyone. But it's just really hard to do so. So at this point, like, of course, now we have the DLC and this DLC. Uh, thank God I could like prepare a little bit more during the weekend because else I wouldn't be able to record this one this this soon and upload it today as well so i already recorded this the last weekend and um i'm just really hoping like the next coming days i also have like two weeks off for a holiday at the end of july and the beginning of august and i'm really gonna try to get back to like more of the scheduling part because doing this daily is just really breaking me up and i just really enjoy uploading this many this much videos and i know you guys really love it so that keeps me going but this is not something i can do for like coming months it's just not doable together with my normal job so i'm just really hoping that i can record in the weekends like beforehand and then schedule it to the next week so uh, I'm, 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 i need to get back to that and it, it's gonna be doable but i just have need like one or two days to get back on track to that but you guys won't even notice that you guys just see the daily videos so it's fine i think <laughs> um tp bauer says i really like the objects in the pack they really need to make different versions of the ticket booth maybe in a free update and a pair already looks amazing i'm curious what else you're gonna make with them uh we even got new horror clown pieces sarcasm <laughs> you, cl you you see what i mean the, about the clowns like some people love it some people hate it i really like them but i'm uh, they are just super big so i just really don't know if i'm able to use them that much um but yeah those ticket boots i really agree on you I, we talked about at, at in the last episode and yeah these tp uh ticket booth we should definitely get in like more different styles like a fairy tale western pirate and and different types of ticket booth i would love to have them but they do look really general so we can just already use them in different themes if you just recolor them they are pretty general so I, I i don't really mind using them but it would be even more amazing to have like really specific themed ticket booth that would be amazing right 
that was the last comment I've written down. Thank you guys so much for all your feedback and your amazing comments. It's so much fun always to reply to them. And I really hope you guys like the uh, pair. I think I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Like I said in the first episode, I really wish I would have made it bigger because that little area we have right now with the popcorn and the gumbo and that kind of stuff, I'm not sure I might ha should have switched it the other way around so it wasn't like closed on the outside maybe just the wall on the inside and then turn them around I have no idea if that would have been better but at least we managed to use like a lot of different items we got with this free update like the planters and the flowers you see and of course also the vintage pack itself so I, I do think that we we managed to to get a really nice pier with a lot of new different items and also of course a little bit of the western and pirate theme uh, I think it's a really nice combination using those packs all together and I really just hope you guys like it. Tell me in the comment section uh, if you like it, if you have any other suggestions about the toys in there, yeah, as I just said, and the clowns. I really just want to know what you think of the clowns. I can't wait to read your comments again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, my name is the Lady Designer for those who don't know. And please make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. Please leave a like at the video because it really does help the channel and me out. <laughs> and I really hope to see you all in the next episode. Thank you guys so much. Bye guys.